This is a tutorial to show you how to install Poison firmware onto your Amlogic TV box. This is available for S95W, S95X and S912 TV boxes. So Poison firmware is now known as Red Poison ATV. This is custom firmware for your Amlogic TV box and brings to us an Android TV style system. This is really good firmware and should bring your Amlogic box back to life be it a older box or even a newer one. The first step is to obviously download this firmware. So please choose the appropriate file for your device, be it S95X, S95W or S912. Install this program and then select the language. Change it to English if needed and then click file and then import image. Once you've imported that image that we've just downloaded, you will then need to click start once that's done we can now connect our tv box to our pc or laptop this is normally done with a usb mail to mail cable connect one end into your pc and then hold in the reset button which is normally located on the bottom or on the side or inside the av port on your tv box hold that in with something thin and sharp preferably not metal of course Hold that in and then connect the other end of the USB cable into your TV box. Once that's done, the computer should start installing drivers. These are normally called World Cup drivers. Once that's done, it should then begin installing the firmware onto your TV box and it should show a progress bar as shown here. USB Burner 2 is not a perfect piece of software. Many different issues have been reported using it. It might just not connect at all. I normally find Windows 10 does struggle to actually work correctly with USB Burner 2. I normally find Windows 7 is more appropriate, but there we go. So if you do have those issues, there is a different way to actually install this firmware, and I'm going to cover that just now. There is another tool called Amlogic Burn Card Maker, and this basically burns the image file that we would have normally used with USB Burner 2 onto an SD card. As shown here, install USB Burner Tool, and then select your SD card, and then all you need to do is click Make, and then what it'll do is it'll burn the SD card image onto the SD card. Once that's done, remove it, insert it into your TV box, hold in the reset button normally, and then apply power. And then it should begin installing this piece of firmware. So there we have it. Very simple process, normally. Yes, I understand a lot of you guys might, might have issues using certain parts of these tools, especially with Windows 10, with an incompatibility sometimes with USB burning tool and so on. So you've got the two options there, give it a go, don't give up, just keep going with it. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments section below. And lastly, enjoy Red Poison ATV. It's a fantastic piece of firmware. All credit goes to the developers, of course. So anyway, thanks again for watching. We shall see you very soon.